Previously on Celebok. Now I know I haven't even mentioned the wings yet. For now, I'll just say I do believe uh, I'm a nine wing eight. Explaining why would just be a whole separate video. Okay, well, it's been over five years now since I said I might do a video on being a nine wing eight. Um, I did briefly talk about it uh, in one of my recent COVID-19 videos, but um, I guess I never really did a video that explained how I figured out that I'm a nine wing eight. And that's a question I, I see a lot on the Enneagram forums, you know, how do I figure out which wing I am? Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, if you've never heard of the Enneagram wings, or you know, maybe you've just kind of heard of them, but you don't really know what they are, um, this video is not for you. Uh, I'm not here to explain what the wings are, because I personally don't really care whether you know what the wings are or not. Uh, I don't really see it as like a, a very necessary thing for you to learn. You know, especially if you're using the Enneagram as like a supplement to personality type theory along with MBTI or you know anything to do with Carl Jung's functions, you know, which is what I personally recommend. If you learned about Enneagram types but you don't know about MBTI, I would say go ahead and learn about MBTI. So anyway, for this video I'm just going to assume that you at least know what the Enneagram wings are and I'm just going to go ahead and explain how I concluded that I have an eight wing. So one mistake that I think people might, might be tempted to make would be to just to look at their test results and, you know, say, you know, say they figure out they're a type 9 and they're trying to figure out, you know, if they're a wing, you know, if they're a 9 wing 8 or a 9 wing 1 and they just like, oh, which, you know, between the 8 and the 1, which one is higher? I think that's the wrong approach, especially if, you know, either, the, you know, your 8 and 1 scores are pretty close to each other or if both of them are just really low. Either way, don't just pick the type that has a higher score on your test and just assume that that's your wing. The test is just telling you that you exhibit more outward manifestations of this type than the other. And if the scores for those types are low, then, you know, chances are, you know, you're only scoring anything on those types for reasons that have nothing to do with your type at all. So I would say, you know, no test is really reliable enough to determine your wing. Even if you do take a test that tells you what your wing is, I, I'd say, you know, just ignore it. Don't, don't believe it. I almost always score near zero on type eight and just slightly above that on type one. And so the test will tell me I'm probably a nine wing one just because the one score was higher than the eight, but I still identify as nine wing eight. And here's why. Basically, I relate to a lot of type eight stuff in my head but I just don't act on them in real life. You know, and so when the test asks questions related to type eight, you know, and it asks, you know, and asks in the form of, do you do this or do people tell you this? You know, I'm just gonna keep on answering no because I know I never behave like a type eight. Nobody ever sees me act like a type eight. But when I read descriptions of type eight, the idea of wanting to assert my control over others, taking control of a situation, not wanting to be controlled by others. I recognize that that's something that I sometimes fantasize about in my head, even though I'm nothing like that in real life. In real life, I almost always act like the type nine that I am, not doing the thing that goes through my head, but rather instinctively avoiding the conflict just to keep the peace, because apparently my type nine instinct is just a lot stronger and overrules any type 8 like attitude that I might have in my head. And I definitely relate to that more than anything related to type 1. Type 1 I hardly relate to at all. And the only reason I get a few positive results on type 1 on the test is because I do a few one things for other reasons. And it's basically because of acquired beliefs, not my natural tendencies. Now I asked other type 9s if they ever fantasized about acting like their wing and only the nine wing eights said they did. And I don't really see this happening with other types either. I think what's special about the nine wing eight is that types eight and nine are like polar opposites of each other. 
So it makes sense how I, as a 9-wing 8, would score lowest on type 8 on a test, and at the same time that I would view type 8 as someone that I sometimes wish I could be. You know, I can't really think of a reason why a 3 would fantasize about being a 4, or a, or, a, or a 6 fantasize about being a 5. So I'm not really sure, but I think this phenomenon might just be unique to type 9-wing 8, which obviously doesn't help you if you're some other type, but... That's just how I identified my wing. Although I do wonder if it works that way for 8-wing 9s. Do 8-wing 9s ever act like 9s in their head? Like they desire peace and to get along with people, but their natural fear of being controlled overrides that desire and causes them to assert their control over others and creating all kinds of conflict even though they don't like it? I don't know. Now, of course, supposedly there is such a thing as having balanced wings. You know, if you don't clearly re relate to one wing over the other, I mean, you probably do have a wing, but it's probably just not really that significant. And like I said at the beginning, you know, I don't really see this as a very necessary th part of the Enneagram. Just focus on your core type and what you can get out of that aspect. And, you know, don't even worry about the wings. And maybe some hardcore Enneagram enthusiasts will disagree with me and claim that there's some deeper method that you can use to figure out your wing and, you know, just how helpful it is to know, you know, like your full, full detailed profile of your Enneagram type with your wing, your tri-type and whatnot. Fine. Talk to them. That's all I got. Only the 9-wing 8 said the dude. Um... Ugh.